everyone it's the worst crochet ever back here to share some of my crochet essentials today i'm going to be telling y'all some things that you've really been wanting to know like what brand of yarn i use what crochet hook i use but i also wanted to share some other essentials that i would not be able to live without so let's just get right into the video i'm firstly going to show kind of some boring things but these are my essentials. That is gonna be my little darning needles. These little guys I use all the time for different design work. So I like to do um, some embroidery type stitches onto my designs. Uh, I try to do maybe some duplicate stitching. I'm trying my hand at that. Don't know if my patience is all there. But weaving in ends. I think these are from either Clover or from Joann's, but I cannot remember. Secondly, I have my stitch markers. These are cute little cloud-shaped stitch markers that I do believe Joann sent me, so thank you so much, Joann. Please sponsor me, please, God. Yeah, Joann's is where it's at. They have all of my fabrics and everything, my trims and my ribbons and my lace, oh my God. But yeah, stitch markers. Next up, some another small little thing is a digital row counter. So I like to use a like physical one that I can put on my finger because I don't really like using on my phone the like one you press on my phone. This is just a little bit faster because I can just keep it on my finger as I'm doing stuff. I just click the button and that's nice. So this is from Hobby and you actually get these like sometimes for free in little packages. So if you spend a certain amount, you get a free digital row counter which is really cool I'm gonna talk about scissors I know I might not seem that serious but crafters take their materials very seriously and I am NOT immune to that so I've tried many scissors over the years and Fiskars is my favorite okay they're sharp so annoying when you go to cut some like yarn and it just folds over in the scissors and doesn't actually snip and I work with fabric a lot and these are great so sharp mm -hmm. <sighs> this is just really serious business I'm talking about here tape measures <laughs> these are Dritz tape measures I have a cute purple and green one did you know that some tape measures are inaccurate slightly but they are inaccurate apparently these these are really accurate and I love the size of them this is so I don't know what to tell you I love the size of them flexible tape measures are my favorite especially for measuring clothing I use tape measures to measure the cups on tops um, to do custom work you know all that good stuff so the Dritz tape measures are my favorite <laughs> okay glue glue is important because you can use it to glue down your loose ends on your projects so after you weave in your yarn do a little dabble of glue these are permanent fabric adhesives so you can wash them and it will hold up this one's liquid stitch I do like this however I prefer Fabri-Tac <laughs> okay I don't know I like this one better it um, adheres a little bit faster I just prefer this one so I have a nice big bottle both are from Joann's. Also for adhering like appliques to your tops or clothing or whatever you make. I still like to sew down my appliques along with glue but if just like for yourself I probably would just glue it down but when I sell stuff I like it to be a little bit more sturdy so I like to sew on top of gluing but these two glues are my favorite fabric glues. So now we will get into something I have been waiting to talk about this whole time and that is my lifeline my ride or die this is my best friend this is my crochet hook the only crochet hook that these hands will ever use this is the clover soft touch crochet hook specifically in a five millimeter that's pretty much the only size that i mess around with 
and five millimeter is perfect for me for the tops and clothing items that I make. When I tell you that this little golden angel is like the best thing to ever exist, I'm not lying. I'm not even being dramatic. This hook changed my life. Back in the day, when I first started crocheting, I used just your run-of-the-mill craft store crochet hook. The ones with like the colorful rubbery grips. And I about gave myself carpal tunnel or tendonitis, I don't know what, but I had to stop crocheting for literally an entire week. And I wore a brace on my arm, my forearm and my wrist. Every time that I would stretch out my arm, I would get this pulling sensation, like, I don't know, my tendon, something, nerve pain, I don't know, it would just shoot up my arm and it was like, oh, ooh, it was disgusting. And I was like, oh my god, I hurt myself from crocheting. It is no joke. This is why I tell crocheters, raise your prices because it's actually, you can actually harm yourself. Like, it, the repetitive movements are no joke. You can hurt your wrists. That's why it's important to stretch out your wrists before and after a crochet session. This hook, I don't know what kind of black magic is in it. I never have gotten wrist pain since. I also want to talk about the way <laughs> you will crochet faster with this. I'm not even kidding. It is so smooth. It is so smooth. It does not get like snagged like how some other hooks do because like this top is like not as sharp as other ones and so like it's just so it just glides it glides and you go so fast with it i don't know i don't know it's so good um i've heard some people complain that it's like too small it is shorter than like the average crochet hook but makes no difference but now we'll get to talk about yarn so what everyone always asks me, what yarn brand do you use so from these seven years of me crocheting and having a crochet business i have switched yarn brands a few times but as of the last three years i think i have been using one type of yarn for pretty much all the tops that i make so i do use cotton yarn for my tops i prefer cotton i think it is softer more breathable and more comfortable um, for clothing items around your chest and stuff specifically i use hobbies rainbow cotton yarn and this yarn is just it is so soft they have an amazing color range and it's like squishy and the stitch definition is just satisfying it is so satisfying so this is my favorite cotton yarn of all time. If you haven't checked out Javi's yarn, definitely do. I have a huge collection in my closet I will try to show. But this is my go-to cotton yarn. It has like a cute little tab that you can pull from the center so you don't have to get bothered with, you know, pulling from the outside. And yeah, this is the cotton yarn that I use for pretty much all my tops. I do have some um, other options though as well because this yarn is based in Denmark, the company. They're not in the US and they don't sell in any physical stores, so you cannot go out and just buy this, unfortunately. You can only get it online. So I wanted to show you the stitch definition of this hobby rainbow yarn. It's just so yummy. That's the best way I can describe it. It's just yummy. I don't know, it's squishy and it's soft. And it's beautiful. Uh, another online retailer that I really like is Paintbox Yarns. So I do have a few select colors. I really like to get this pistachio green color specifically from Paintbox. It is also a really nice soft cotton yarn. Not as soft as the Hobby yarn. These are both medium weight yarns. Um, this one just works up slightly thinner than this one but both are really great quality cotton yarn. So if you're annoyed that those are only available online, I do have some in-store options. This cotton yarn specifically is from Joann's, and I wanna say they like stocked this relatively recently. So this is actually the Knit and Crochet Essential 
cotton yarn. L yeah, lightweight essential cotton yarn by Knit and Crochet. And they have a few colors. They don't have a ton of colors, so that's like the only sad thing. But I love this cotton yarn. It's again like really nice and squishy and soft. It's so soft it almost feels like not cotton, which is weird. But oh, it's really nice like I highly recommend y'all try out this cotton yarn the next time you go to Joann's and definitely a good option if you don't want to purchase yarn online okay moving on to non cotton yarn my go-to acrylic yarn is just line brands basic stitch this is a really solid medium weight acrylic yarn gets the job done it's not scratchy I mostly use this for my knitting machine projects cuz I have yet to find a cotton yarn that works up on the knitting machine. Some more fun alternative yarns I like to use are the Brene Velvet yarn and the Go For Faux, Faux Fur yarn. Right. These are fun to add to tops. I like to do the Faux Fur yarn like on trims and then I do love to make a velvet top like during the colder months because it does keep you warmer and it's really soft but I know some people like hate this like texture Personally, it doesn't bother me, but I these are both really soft and fun to use. This is another really unique yarn that I like to use. It's called Jelly Yarn by the brand Yummy Yarns. And I've mostly made chokers with it so far, but it really takes me back to my MySpace days. You know, the Jelly Band bracelets. Yeah, I love it. So nostalgic, but I'm excited to make some new projects out of this. So those are my crochet essentials. All of my favorite crochet fiber arts related products that I love to use. And I hope y'all got some good recommendations out of it. And if you do try anything that I recommended and you liked it, definitely let me know. I would also really like to um, maybe make a similar video to this but specifically like my crochet business essentials so like things that I really really love and use in my business but that's all for me thanks for watching and I'll see you soon